We are continuing the fallout from a story that we first brought to you last night. The fallout continues, of course, from Wednesday's morning's racist and sexist conversation about black women on the 97 Rock Morning Show. The co-host of the show, Rob Lederman, compared the skin tones of black women to the different shades of toast that the men on the morning show prefer. Cumulus Media, which owns 97 Rock, fired Lederman and suspended the rest of the morning show's on-air talent. The show usually begins at 6 a.m., but today the station simply played music instead. Several advertisers also pulled their ads from the station, including Roswell Park. Lederman has since apologized for his actions. But as we are hearing from you today, his comments have clearly hurt many people across western New York and has sparked major discussion. Tunya Side spoke to three people today about the issues that are being discussed. There are a couple of things happening here. Um, I think one of the first things is, is that it devalues black women. Um, it sets us along um, a scale of um, basing our worth um, according to our color. Uh, the other thing is that uh, the DJ has a great deal of power and authority in our community. And so if he is bringing up this issue around colorism, then that means that he is then educating erroneously, but he's educating his audience about issues of race that are not acceptable. So his power cannot be underestimated um, when we talk about this conversation being unacceptable in our community. Well, anti-racism is very proactive. It's rooted in activity. It's rooted in engaging in the activities to go against racism. In other words, by having these conversations and standing up and saying, hey, this is not right, this is wrong, that's anti-racist work. By saying, I'm not a racist, that isn't anti-racist work. You have to be actively engaged in trying to educate and elevate and understanding why there are racist roots to some of these things that are happening out there. Uh, community, this is the time that we ought to be loving each other. We just, we, and we're still going through a challenge, right? I'm talking about a challenge as a people, as a society, we're going through a challenge, a pandemic that does not care about race at all. We're all suffering going through the same thing. And that's what, it, what exists in nature. When a disaster takes place, it does not factor in what color you are, what race you are, what creed you are. Uh, it doesn't factor in none of the demographics that we think are important. And it's, uh, it's a time for us to bind together and band together in our unity, really, really emphasizing the importance of our commonness our commonality, you know, and when it comes to race, we are all part of a human race. Well, judging by the social media response mm. today, we noticed that there was really a diversity, not only of opinion, but of understanding on this issue. And here at Two On Your Side, we were happy to promote and help continue a meaningful conversation on this very important community issue. Definitely very important discussion.